Hey guys, it's Kay, I hope you're all well. Now in today's video, I'm gonna show you the easiest way of getting retro gaming on your Raspberry Pi 4. Now if you do like this kind of content, please do consider subscribing and giving us a like. Okay, so I am in fact talking about Recalbox and the latest version 7.2. And if you head on over to their website, you can in fact see how it converts your Raspberry Pi into an all-in-one retro gaming console. And the great thing is, it's open source, which means it's free to use and is compatible with a wide selection of game systems and consoles, from the earliest arcade systems all the way up to the 32-bit systems, like the PlayStation. And there's some new impressive features in this new version, with things like online updates so you get the latest optimizations for your emulators. And there's a 5-player mode, so if you've got up to 5 controllers, you can connect them all to the same Raspberry Pi and play with your mates. And just about any Bluetooth controller will work. There's a rewind function, so if you mess up in the game, you can go back and replay it. Now they state 100 gaming systems are supported with 40,000 games, which is amazing. Now to download Recalbox onto your Raspberry Pi, just head on over to the top of the page and click on the download box. Now as you can see, it's available for a variety of systems and setups, but we're going to choose the Raspberry Pi 4. So the cool thing here is you can install Recalbox on any of the Raspberry Pis you can think of, from 0 all the way up to 4. So I'm getting it for the Pi 4, and I'm going to click on the Mac version, because I'm using a Mac to transfer it onto my SD card. And that's it guys, we're done on the website, we just wait for it to download. Now we're also going to need something to flash the Recalbox ROM onto your SD card. And I'm using the Pi Imager. I've left a download link in the description below where you can get this. Now once you've installed Pi Imager, open it up and click on the Choose OS button. Then scroll your way down to Custom and it will bring up a box. Just navigate to where you downloaded the Recalbox ROM and select it. Click the Open button. Next we need to click on Choose SD Card. And of course, make sure you have your SD card inserted in your PC and select it. And finally, click on Write and click Yes to confirm. You'll then proceed to Write and then Verify Recal Box on your SD card. It should take about 2-3 minutes. Once it's complete, you'll get the following message. Just press Continue. Then remove your SD card from your PC and insert it into your Raspberry Pi and boot up. Now the first boot up shouldn't take more than 5 minutes, but while it's booting up, you do get some information about the latest features. And as you can see, there is a lot more features than I mentioned earlier. And of course, we've got multi-controller support, and all the buttons are mapped out the box. And if you didn't know already, the main interface for Recallbox is Emulation Station. And personally, I think the system screens are pretty cool. You get a listing of the games you've got installed, and a picture of the console you've currently selected. And another cool feature is, you've got a multi-search feature. So you can search for any game across all the systems you've got installed. And another cool feature is shortcuts on your gamepad during the game, which are useful if you want to do some creative playing. Now adding games to your system is pretty straightforward, you've got three methods. You can simply plug in a USB drive with all your games on it, or you can insert an SD card with all your games on it. And thirdly, you can access your games ROMs via your network, directly on your Windows PC. Which is a bit of a game changer, it's the first time I've come across this. Ok guys, we're nearly there, and we're in. Now the Recall Box download does come with some games installed, and that's why we've got all these game systems showing up on our menu. So let's take a quick look around. Now I've got my PS4 controller hooked up via USB, so I'm able to scroll through all the emulators available. Now this list will change if you add different ROMs from different systems. Now currently I've got no PlayStation Portable listed, but if I add PlayStation ROMs to the shared drive on the SD card, the next time I boot up the PlayStation Portable will show up here with all the ROMs listed. But by default Recalbox does come with some ROMs with each of the systems listed. As you can see here, the Mega Drive has got several games already installed. So let's give Yazzie a quick try. As you can see, the interface on Recallbox is absolutely stunning, it's very smooth. So this is your classic platform game, very colourful I might add. Now the great thing here is, you can see how easy it was for me to get Recallbox installed and working. Very easy for a newcomer to the Raspberry Pi to get a setup and running. Now another classic that comes pre-installed with the Recal ROM is Kong. So as you can see, you can get set up fairly easily without having to install any ROMs. As I think Recallbox comes with around 33 games, distributed between the emulators that are already installed. Now, if you have any issues with the buttons on your controller, you can reconfigure them. Pressing select on the controller will bring up the main menu and just head on over to controller settings. And from here you can also pair a Bluetooth controller. Now, going back to the main menu, you can also connect to your Wi-Fi network. Just select network settings and then scroll down to Wi-Fi SSID and then from here select your Wi-Fi network. Now getting your personal ROMs onto the Recal box is quite straightforward. All you need to do is remove the SD card from your Raspberry Pi and insert it into your PC. 
you'll get two drives that show up, Recall Box and Share. Now you want to double click on the Share drive to open it up. Now on the Share folder on the SD card, open up the ROMs folder. Now in here you're going to find all the emulators that are supported by Recalbox. So all you need to do is copy over all the ROMs you have into the corresponding folders. So for example, I'm copying over my N64 ROMs from my PC onto the corresponding N64 folder on the SD card. Now I'm also doing the same for the PlayStation Portable. Now once you've copied over all your personal ROMs onto the SD card, just remove it and put it into your Raspberry Pi and boot up. As you can see, the PlayStation Portable and the games have appeared on Recalbox. Now the only thing is, there's no artwork with the game. There's a simple fix for this and I'll show you later on in the video. So I'm going to play some Street Fighter Alpha. If some of your ROMs don't have any artwork, you can install them within Localbox. Head on over to Scraper within the main menu and click on Scrape Now. From here you can filter out what systems you want to scrape out artwork for. So currently I've got all 37 systems selected. Now once I press Start, it will look at all the ROMs I have under each system without artwork and start searching online for artwork for them. So overall, I'll give the Recal Box experience 10 out of 10. It's absolutely fantastic for beginners. They can get started straight away. Anyway guys, if you found this video helpful, give us a like and maybe even a subscribe. And I'll see you all in the next one.